Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Dana White just announced two huge title fights for the end of the year and both of, go of them are going to be top draw. In the co-main event of UFC 295 on November 11th in New York City, it's Yiri Prohaska versus Alex Poatan Pereira for the vacant 205 pound title. It's an exciting fight between two of the scariest individuals in the UFC. One look at Alex Pereira and the average man would quake in his boots. And then you have Iri Prohaska, an absolute savage, just as wild and unpredictable as Pereira. And both of them collide Fireworks are guaranteed. Iri Prohaska was the undisputed champion after beating Lova Teixeira, Pereira's friend, crumb training partner. But unfortunately, he suffered one of the worst shoulder dislocations in UFC history and had to relinquish his title. Now, Jamal Hill, who became the champion, also got injured and vacated his title. So it has come full circle. Yuri will now once again challenge for the belt, which he never lost. On the other hand, his two division glory kickboxing champion and former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. Relatively young into his UFC career, Pereira has already held the 180 pound title, defeating Arisania. He is an elite striker. But the advantages that he had over the other fighters at the middleweight division are negated at light heavyweight. Yuri Prohaska is just as big, just as long and just as intimidating as Alex Pereira. Yuri is undefeated in the UFC and fights like a man possessed. He has knocked out or finished every fighter he has faced so far. And for once... Alex Pereira would not have the size advantage as Yuri is probably bigger than him. It would be intense when they finally face off in the octagon. Flashbacks of Krokov vs. Vandele Silva already comes to mind. The stare down might be just as intense. And the way both of them fight, this fight is destined not to go to distance. Yuri is wild and unorthodox and overwhelms his opponents with his unusual movement and awkward angles. But in his fight with Glover, he did get hit flush numerous times. He has got a good chin, but he can't afford to get hit by Pereira. Giri doesn't have to worry about the ground game of Alex Pereira because he has none, but he can surprise Alex and take him to the ground and land some heavy ground and pound himself. Pereira, on the other hand, would love to keep the fight standing. Therein lies his best chance of victory. It's an intriguing fight to say the least, and someone is going to sleep. Another huge fight that came up about was Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington for the welterweight title at UFC 296. Leon Edwards would be looking to defend his belt for the second time after consecutive victories over former champ Kamaru Usman. Colby Covington is coming into this third title fight and that too after a year out of the ring. Colby has been campaigning for this fight for quite some time. And finally, he will be fighting for the title against someone other than Kamaru Usman. It's also probably Colby's last shot at the belt considering he lost twice to Usman. Styles make fights and Colby just might be all wrong for Leon Edwards. For starters, he is a southpaw like Edwards and his stand-up might not be just as good as Leon's, but he can definitely hold his own. Where he excels is his wrestling and cardio. Leon Edwards did defend a lot of takedowns against Usman, but he got taken down as well. Colby is relentless and he will go for the takedown all night long. His cardio is his biggest weapon. The threat of the takedown will also open 
grounds for striking. If Leon can't stop the takedown, then he is in for a long night. But on the feet, Leon Edwards definitely had the advantage. He's a sharp striker, has great kicks, but how he chooses to use them would be the thing to watch out for. Colby will be looking for single legs and double leg takedowns. Leon knows what's coming too. He has to be vigilant all night long. He can end the fight in any instant, but can he handle the pressure and wrestling of Colby? Covington is a slight favorite among the odds makers as well. All this sets up for an intriguing fight between two of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And the UFC is all set to finish the year on a high. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe to the channel.